Louise has got this thing since she was a young girl that she sets herself goals and she tends to stick to them. We're quite proud of that, the fact that you know, she makes work work and every life work. And come around the house and she said, I'm going to go to Cyprus and live. She packed everything up, got a container, took Freddy, everything else, rented the house out and ended up in Cyprus. Now, the fact that she sets herself goals, Stephen didn't know that he was her next goal. So it sort of went on from there. And I'm happy to say that it's turned into today. Steve on Thursday had a bit of a turn and we weren't even sure we were going to be here. So today, it's great to see you looking so well. When Gary first found out that I was with Linda, with, and this is why there's no speech. <laughs> like, we are with Louise. He actually said, "Over to you, mate. There's no return. Good luck." <laughs> First off, I'd like everybody to, to help me thanking Louise for actually turning up today. And uh, yes, you do look amazing, babe. Better than me. Uh, I thought I'd be the centre of attention, but it didn't turn out that way. <laughs> and I'd like to say thank you to my mum and dad for all their help and support. I wouldn't have made it this far in life without you, not with just the wedding. And I would like to thank Gary and Linda for all of your help and support and your daughter. Because there wouldn't have been a walk because there wouldn't have been a wedding without her. <laughs> Right, basically, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for just coming along and taking part in this day and making it such a wonderful, special day. And I'd like to make another big special thank you for everyone that come all the way from England. You don't know how, how special you've made this day for me and Louise. And just thank you. And I'm getting a bit emotional now. So... I'm going to hand this back before I start crying. <laughs> Thank you.